So this is your rig. This is my rig. Yep, dude. My 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 pride and joy, my love. Yeah. I I thought I was done with my build until I saw Dot's build, and yeah. I'm like, oh crap, I got a lot of work to do. So do you mind giving us a little tour? No, not at all. Let's do it. Awesome. So, what's going on with the uh, exterior? Uh, so yeah, starting from the exterior. Well, first it's a 2008 uh, EX all-wheel drive, Atomic Blue. Uh, starting from the can I start with the engine bay? Absolutely. So underneath, oh yeah, yeah, underneath uh, the hood here, I've got the A2 swap um, with a 1320 header, uh, Yanaka exhaust, two and a half inch all the way back. What well, um, what's the A2 engine? The A2 is from the TSX. So okay. So you're going from like 160 horsepower base to like 200. So it's a nice uh, little bump there, plus all the other bolt-ons. So I probably am pushing you know, at the crank, probably close to 225, 230. <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome, So it dude. makes it just a lot more drivable, you know, on trips like this. Yeah. You know, when you're hitting the hills and all that type of stuff. Definitely. It's not a slug. No, no, not at all. <laughs> um, and then on the front end here, we'll just start here. Um, got the diode dynamics SS3 pros uh, fog lights, which are amazing at night. And those are mounted to the DZ brackets to make it easy install. These are just some Amazon floodlights, just kind of uh, make it easier to see on like trails and at the campground and stuff. Awesome. And this actually was from Badcraft Motors. They made some replica fronts. So that's not an OEM one, that's actually a replica. Oh, wow. Uh, but it looks fantastic, you know. Sure does. Um, and then kind of moving up top, obviously it's an E camper. Uh, this is the second gen one, so lots of room up top. I've got another Diode Dynamics light bar in the front there. Uh, again, just to give visibility at night. And that's a Pelican V700 case. That's where I just keep like my camp chairs and all that stuff. Um, you know, and I, I take things down right away once we get to camp so that way it keeps the, the top light so that I can lift it up easy. A Renogy 100 watts solar panel. And all of that is mounted to the Rob DZ rack. Solid. Um, this one happens to be the first one of this kind um, that he made specifically for the e-camper. Um, we met up and I kept pushing him to design it and he finally did it and we stuck it up there and you know, a few <laughs> others have it now, including Jason over here. But um, yeah, Rob DZ products, fantastic. And then the last thing that's up on the roof is just the awning. Shady Boy Awning, another small company that I'm happy to support. Um, one thing that's kind of different with this awning compared to a lot of other ones, it's only 14 pounds. So super light compared really? to like 35 to 40, which most of the other ones are, you know. Is that one like automatic or does it pull out? Um, this one, no, I have to, I, it's a manual one. Okay. So I do have to cool. pull it out. Yeah. Um, but super simple setup. I mean, honestly, I can take it out and, and in like two minutes, you know, and then put it back like in two minutes. And I love the hard shell aluminum. Mm. You know, it goes really well with with the rest of the it's the sleek build. too yeah so. So let's take a look at your wheels and suspension yeah wheels and suspension here we've got the msts in the gunmetal to go with the rest of the car i've got the flat out suspension uh, gr lights nice yeah those are super nice super comfortable ride um you know once you get them dialed in i mean they're they're phenomenal rides hell yeah yeah uh and then i've, I've got the tsx you know upgrade on the front just a little bit better stopping power and then I have the stainless steel brake lines. Can't really see them from here, but um, from um, I bought them through Element Driven and also through Apex Brakes. They're the same, you know, um, mm -hmm. Element Driven distrib distributes them also. How do you feel about the, the open country Toyos? Um, I actually really love them. You know, the, the really awesome thing about them is that, you know, on road, they're really quiet, mm. you know, and so, but they still give you the all-terrain traction. And so I've been super happy with them ever since I've, I've had them. So, and and um you know, they look great too so, yeah i mean extra they, bonus right they definitely do the moment you've all been waiting for <laughs> <laughs> i thought about a lot of this stuff for a long time it took a while to kind of execute but here you go i'll kind of get out of the way so you can see here yeah yeah but so tell me what's going on up front over here yeah so first up front here with the you know the biggest thing and and the best upgrade is the swivel seats yeah so heroes hot rods you know there's a little Heroes Hot Rods, baby. Uh, swivel seats, I mean, it just changes everything. It just gives you so much more options on what you want to do for your interior build. Uh, and just really opens up the space, as you can see. So, 
Uh, swivel seats. These are the Wet Coley seat covers. Mm. Um, really nice, easy to clean. They look great. They fit really well. You know, I just love them. And then I have a lot of uh, Fifth Element camping stuff in here. Uh, I have the console, which works with the swivel seat. That's rad. Yeah. And then right to, uh, on this side, I use their cabinet. Um, this is great for storage. I just have like, you know, like a camp stove and, you know, different things in there. Like down here is like dry goods, uh, food and stuff like that. But all those extra cabinets are fantastic for storage. Th this is going to be like one of my next upgrades. This, or I'm going to build it myself because yeah. mm -hmm. it's just the perfect placement. But the way that he builds it, the quality, the design is just... You can't beat it. Nick, I, I got to tell you, Nick, like just the experience, uh, the buying experience and his follow-up and all that stuff. I mean, I can't speak any higher of, of Nick from, from Fifth Element Camping. Yeah. So yeah, no, totally. it's fantastic. And I use it constantly. So, um, and then this is new here. Um, I sick. put the Lagoon mount <laughs> with a little workstation here that swivels to either seat. And then I matched it here with the, the table in the back. These are epoxy river tables. Man, that is like beautiful. That's like a work of art. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, I, I'm so happy with how they came out. Um, you know, I was just trying to get something a little unique and I had these uh, made by a local um, uh, table maker, you know, carpentry person, um, or actually over in Idaho, I wouldn't pick them up. What's their name? Uh, you know, I'd have to look that up. Okay, well, we'll, we'll add the, uh, the description down below and also I'll put a little thing on top of the video Yeah, because he deserves some recognition. These yeah. things are freaking gorgeous. They turned out fantastic. Yeah, a local company as well um, I believe they're on Vashon Island Bigfoot fire and they make these little mini fire pits It runs off of um, alcohol so you can really control the flame with how much you fuel you use and then when you want to put it out You just put that cover on and it goes instantly out. Yeah, I got I got to see it last night. It was really cool like really right. set the mood right. does it actually produce enough heat to like warm or it's not so much for warming it's more for just like the, the mood and like the ambiance you know yeah. um, so, which also makes it really safe because it doesn't put off a lot of heat so good point you don't have to worry uh about any of that and does he also make these mugs as well these mugs are actually made by a friend of mine based out of portland fire and flame ceramics okay he does a lot of ceramic work he also does woodwork as well but they're really cool really nice you know wow. you saw me using them last night at the fire with my hot chocolate so <laughs> um but he yeah he does lots of great stuff that's steve amazing. sanchez shout out to you uh fire and flame ceramics yeah wow so, that's amazing dude um, talk about the the rear like the tailgate the hitch what do you have going on here sure so rob dz product another one um just the, the storage here nice that's uh just uh add, have a, a couple tools my roadside flares and this is for the awning this swing out carrier actually started out as a yakima bike carrier really yeah and um chopped it all the pieces and then uh made a couple changes so it used to swing out towards the right over here but we, we chopped it off we got a new hitch piece and some scrap metal and re-welded it so it goes left mm. and the whole idea was that with the awning on this side and, and you know, like the, the outdoor living space on this side, I didn't want to cook my meals and then have to walk around the tire to get to the living space. So by making it swing this way, it opens everything up, you know. The attention to detail, man. I mean, yeah, you got to, you know, I mean, that's if I, rad. If I'm, if I'm building something out, we got to do it right. <laughs> so. um, but yeah, so this is um, this isn't a front runner table. It's a front runner knockoff. I'm not ashamed to say, but uh, it works really well. Um, you know, like I said, for, for cooking the meals. And so this is a um, fire, uh, propane fire pit. It's made out of an ammo can here. And uh, just show you the inside with the lava rocks and everything. But this is uh, mounted to a swag off-road mount for the propane or for the ammo can. It's another local company out of Oregon. Wow. Yeah. I love that you're like supporting all the local businesses and stuff. That's rad, man. I mean, only yeah, yeah. for the small guy, you know, yeah. the local stuff, like for sure. So, um, yeah, then I have my full-size uh, wheel and tire on here, and then my propane can, of course, uh, to you know for cooking and also for the fire pit. And uh, this is actually mounted to Easy Racks. It's mounted to this uh, heavy-duty strap, and then it has like a you know the like standard mount holes. Okay. So you can mount like tons of different accessories. Uh, for me, I chose the propane stuff. 
So question for you. Yep. When you're getting into the e-camper, how do you, do you use a ladder? Do you use the Gobi? Do you just pop in from the back? What's the easiest way for you to get in the usually? E for me and, and my girlfriend that I usually travel with, like we usually just go through the inside. This is probably one of the best elements I've ever seen. Like yeah. hands down, dude. It's, it's just <laughs> well, set up, man. Thank you very much. You know, I, I got to give a shout out to to like Kevin Creek Moore and 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 um, Honda E Camper, you know, Emo Element and Honda E Camper. They they really inspired this build actually when mm. I first got my my Element. Um, you know, I I saw their accounts and I I saw their elements and it it really just got me thinking. You know, yeah. What am I gonna do? What's your uh, Instagram account? My Instagram is at that blue element. Okay. Yeah. And oh, and his, we sh can we shout out your photography? Oh, for sure. Dude, all right, your photography. <laughs> everything you do is just like top notch, right. but but your <laughs> photography is like yeah, just much. stellar. What's the photography? Uh, it's at Snap that photo. Okay. Snap that photo. I'm gonna leave the links, dude, because it's for just sure. at incredible, it. like over like we're just sitting around at the campfire just like checking out his photography and i couldn't turn away from it it yeah, was thank awesome you, thank you so much. no it's it's uh it's just a great hobby you know that i love to do and yeah no it's it's fun that thank was you. awesome man yeah your build is beautiful thank you very much thank and i'm looking much. forward to the next meet next year yeah i'm looking forward to seeing you guys again you know and hopefully i can come down and you guys can show me around your your hood so Dude, let's we you can, know we can go dancing we can go to the beach yeah we'll do it all Cool. Maybe my girlfriend dance. I don't know about me. I don't know if, <laughs> know if you want to see that, but beach and all that, that sounds good. <laughs> all right. So I'll leave links down below to all of the products that you've seen in today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.